head to toe assessment. Question 1. The very first thing a nurse will assess when doing a head to toe examination is what? A. Head. B. Eyes. C. Ears. D. General appearance. Answer. D. General appearance. Question 2. When assessing a client's physical appearance, a nurse will note which of the following. Select all that apply. A. Client's sage. B. Client's gender. C. Client's speech. D. Palpate maxillary and facial sinuses. Head to toe assessment. Question 1. The very first thing a nurse will assess when doing a Question 2. When assessing a client's physical appearance, a nurse will note which of the following. Select all that apply. Head to toe assessment. Question 1. The very first thing a nurse will assess when doing a head-to-toe examination is what? Question 2. When assessing a client's physical appearance, a nurse will note which of the following. Select head to toe assessment. Question 1. The very first thing a nurse will assess when doing a head to toe examination is what? A. Head. B. Eyes. C. Ears. D. General appearance. Question 7. A nurse should assess a client's level of consciousness to ensure they are oriented how? Select all that apply. A. Oriented to time. B. Oriented to place. C. Oriented to person. D. Understands and responds to questions appropriately. E. All of the above. Question 1. The very first thing a nurse will assess when doing a head.
Question 7. A nurse should assess a client's level. Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, and other aspects of his speech. In doing this, which cranial nerves has he just assessed? A. Cranial nerves 4 and 5. B. Cranial nerves 6 and 12. C. Cranial nerves 9 and 12. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Question 10. What is the very first thing a nurse should do at the beginning of a head-to-toe assessment? A. State the client's name and age. B. Introduce yourself to the client. C. Have the client walk in and take a seat. D. State the client's gender and ethnicity. Question 7. A nurse should assess a client's level of consciousness to ensure they are oriented how Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion of the assessment as normal observations regarding the client's greeting? A. Client greets with a smile, not a frown. B. Client furrows brow and blinks erratically. C. Client is making eye contact. D. Client doesn't appear to be in distress. E. Facial expression cannot be identified. Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, and other. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion? Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, and other aspects of his speech. In doing this, which cranial nerves has he just assessed? A. Cranial nerves 4 and 5. B. Cranial nerves 6 and 12. C. Cranial nerves 9. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion of the assessment as Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation.
Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion of the assessment as normal observations regarding the client's greeting? A. Client greets with a smile, not a frown. B. Client furrows brow and blinks erratically. C. Client is making eye contact. Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, and other... Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance? Question 9. Nurse George has just assessed his client's articulation, language, and other aspects of his speech. In doing this which cranial nerves has he just assessed? A. Cranial nerves 4 and 5. B. Cranial nerves 6 and 12. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Answer. E. All of the above. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion of the assessment as Answer. E. All of the above. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Question 10. What is the very first thing a nurse should do? Question 22. Nurse Joan asks her client Freddy to clench his jaw as she continues to palpate his head. When she asks him to do this what is Nurse Joan most likely trying to palpate? A. Freddy's temporal artery. B. Freedy's temporal mandibular joint. C. Freedy's submandibular joint. D. Freedy's submental joint. Answer. D. Cranial nerves 10 and 12. Question 10. What is the very first thing a nurse should do at the beginning of a head-to-toe assessment? Answer. C. Tenderness.
Answer. D. General appearance. Answer C. Tenderness. Answer D. General appearance. Question 7. A nurse should assess a client's level of consciousness to ensure they are oriented how? Select all that apply. A. Oriented to time. B. Oriented to place. C. Oriented to person. D. Understands and responds to questions appropriately. E. All of the above. Answer. A. Eyelash distribution, coloring, drainage. Answer. C. Tenderness. Answer D. General appearance. Question 7. A nurse should assess a client's level of consciousness to ensure. Answer A. Eyelash distribution, coloring, drainage. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance? Answer D. General appearance. Answer A. Eyelash distribution, coloring, drainage. Question 12. Which of the following would a nurse include in the general appearance portion of the assessment does answer D. General appearance.
Answer D. General appearance. Answer D. Cranial nerve 2. Question 35. A nurse would most likely have a client read a newspaper. The wiggle their finger out to the side to test their clients. What? A. Spatial awareness. B. Vision. C. Peripheral vision. D. Farsightedness. Question 10. What is the very first thing a nurse should do at the beginning of a head-to-toe assessment? Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.